Well, it's day two of the Southern Africa Telecommunication Networks and Applications Conference under the theme, The Augmented Era, Navigating Artificial Intelligence in a Connected Society. Let's cross our reporter, Nompumelelo Siziba, for more. And, uh, of course, this started yesterday. So, Nompu, uh, what's on the agenda for today? Thanks very much, Sakina. Well, of course, artificial intelligence remains the key theme, but, of course, other subjects are going to be discussed. There's going to be a close look at what they call data and insights. Uh, they're going to be also discussing the issue of cloud computing, which of course is, is such a dominant uh, uh, presence in our lives. Um, and also they're going to be celebrating the best uh, doctoral um, research papers that have been presented here by students a little bit later after the formal proceedings. There's going to be a celebration um, and a, a meal, etc., etc. So that's what's yet to come. Uh, but of course, we continue to speak to specialists in this area. Um, I'm joined by Mr. Mlamli Boy. He's the CEO of Centec. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Boy, for joining me. Now, just tell us about, in essence, what the work of Centec is. Everybody knows Centec, but what do you guys actually do? Yeah. Now, good morning, uh, Numpu, and good morning to South Africans. Uh, Centec is one of those uh, operators who have been placed in a space of content distribution. For instance, at Centec, we carry broadcasters such as the SABC both in radio and television, from the old days of analog to the now days of digital technologies. Running with migration from analog to digital, as we currently have done, and we will continue to do this until we finish it in 2024, as pronounced by the minister. And secondly, what we do as Centec is, because we are this state-owned entity who is operating within the ICT space, we have a responsibility to make sure that broadband access is available also to the underserved areas. So that is one of our roles as Zentec. Super. Mr. Boy, you're more than welcome to look at me as you're speaking. My colleague will capture you well. Um, but just tell us about how you incorporate the latest technological developments uh, in the work of Zentec to ensure that you fulfill your mandate and ensure a better customer experience. Yeah. I guess uh, what's important for us is to know that artificial intelligence doesn't exist without real intelligence. So on the back of our infrastructure, uh, engineers, designers, and uh, technologists, we have got the capacity to build automation. So we've begun to design our systems now to, first of all, automate within the organization from an IT perspective. And secondly, we think about the ways in which we can use AI to automate for monitoring, remote monitoring of all our network within the country. So. Yeah, that's what we do. Excellent. And then lastly, very importantly, the issue of human resources. We know that South Africa suffers with the issue of people being sufficiently qualified in the STEM areas. And if you're in the ICT space, you need those skills. What are you doing to ensure that you attract and retain the skills that you have? It's a good question. I mean, my passion is human capital development. And by extension, my organization is very committed to developing human resources. As an example, we have got about six uh, partnerships with universities in the country within the engineering space, focusing on young people and young women. And we partner with them so that we can begin to develop digital technology skills. And we know that these skills are very scarce. You develop them for us. Uh, we know that people will come and go. And we develop them with the knowledge that when they go, they are not lost to the country. So we've had a few who came through our, our organization we train them, they grow, get better opportunities, and we release them. And the pipeline is there. We've got a number of students who come out of university, come into our organization, and be trained and do their, 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 their engineering and training um, uh, programs within Centec. But it is not enough. The program that's done by the, the, the Telecom Center of Excellence, we in a way, partnering with the philosophy by doing these partnerships with universities. And we cannot have any development in technologies if we don't build human capital in this country. Indeed. Thank you so much, Mr. Boy, for speaking to us and telling us a bit about the work of Centec. Mr. Mlamli Boy there speaking to us.